After Jesus was baptized, he was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Jesus did not eat for 40 days and 40 nights. He prayed and thought about God's plan for his life. When those days were over, Jesus was hungry. Then the devil, who tempts people to sin, came up to Jesus. He said, if you are really God's son, prove it. Tell these stones to become bread. If Jesus used his power to turn the stones into bread, he could eat them so he wouldn't be hungry anymore. But Jesus refused. Instead of using his own power, Jesus chose to trust God to meet his needs. Jesus said, God's word says, man must not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. The devil tempted Jesus again. He took Jesus to Jerusalem, which was called the Holy City. The devil took Jesus up to the top of the temple. Jesus stood on the roof and the devil said, if you are really God's son, prove it. Jump off this temple and trust God to protect you. Then the devil said, God's word says, God will order his angels to keep you safe and they will protect you so that you will not even strike your foot against a stone. The devil had used words from scripture, but Jesus knew the devil's command was foolish. Jesus reminded him, God's word also says, do not test the Lord your God. Finally, the devil took Jesus to a high mountain. He showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and how great they were. The devil said to Jesus, I will give you all the riches and power of these kingdoms. They belong to me and I can give them to anyone I want. If you want them, all you have to do is fall down and worship me. Jesus resisted temptation again. He replied, go away, Satan. God's word says, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. The devil left Jesus and angels came right away to serve Jesus. Throughout all these temptations, Jesus never sinned. After that, Jesus began his ministry. Jesus was tempted, but he trusted God and never sinned. Jesus is perfect and righteous. A perfect sacrifice was required to take away sin. Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. He had died on the cross to free us from sin and to give us the power to say no to temptation.